Hello everybody, it's Tyler here, welcome back, and now I'm going to be doing a VHS update for October 10th, 2015, I went to ARC today, and, um, anyways, I have a total of six clamshells, um, seven slipcovers, and eleven, eleven recordable tapes, so anyways, let's get started, um, anyways, let's get started with the clamshells, now guys, I actually found a, a lot of good tapes today. Anyways, let's get started. Apple Dumpling Gang. Yep, Mr. Davini is here. And he's known as Davini Troy on YouTube. And he yes, is our sir. Skype guest in this video. Yes, and this is, and guys, I found a lot of Neon Mickey. I found four Neon Mickey tapes today. This is the first one. And there's the Walt Disney Home Video thing right there. It's a good label, and it says, For sale only, not to for rental. I also realize it's on the back as well. Pretty rare. And I think the print date label um, fell off on it. So, I don't know where it's at. So, the print date is unknown on this tape. And guys, I'll, I will let you guys know what the opening are. And, and I will, like, I'll upload them on my Tire Vich Soap Mix 14 channel. And I will, um... And I will do the, the closing to them if you guys want. North Avenue, the regulars. How about this is the next one. Navy, yeah, mine's mine's a reprint from 1985. Cause it's per 1985. It's still a label. July 22nd, 1985. Ah, sorry. Next. Darby O'Bill and the Little People, which I believe is from 1983. She's fine. She's back. Yeah, this tape was put in 1984, I think. Well, it's the old video thing right there. Yep, guys, I do hope to collect more Neon Mickey tapes soon. I only have, I have a short amount. March 27, 1984. March 27, 1984. Probably have like 20 now. Well, including the ones that have cases. And guys, as you see, the case is in kind of bad condition. It's kind of ripped a little bit. Still going to keep this tape. And I got the Neon Mickey tape of Sun and Flubber, the original. And this is the last um, Neon Mickey tape I got today. Kind of more, kind of a, a more of a squishy case. You can probably tell with the spine. The spine's a lot different, and these other ones are like puffy. Sticker label. It looks like for some reason it's like it's like up like that. Don't know why. August fifteenth, nineteen eighty six. This is a reprint, and it came with the business supply card. Yeah. Pretty cool. And now let's do the. I have two other clamshells, and let's see what they are. I have. I got another Go Cross collection tape, the Risk Cats, mainly because um, my other one's caseless, and I have another copy now. Well, I'm still gonna keep both copies. Plus this copy. This copy's print in 2001, the other copy's print in 2002. And I do plan to get another copy print in 2000. I'm getting some duplicates just for the fun of it. Print date, June 18, 2001. Yep, I hope to get a copy print in 2000 soon. Still gonna keep both copies, and I'll hope to get a third one. And next, I got the Persian New Groove. I do plan to get the original 2001 tape, but this is the Waltz Neal Entertainment reprint. Label, December 19, 2002. Yep. Hope to get 2001 print soon. And I got, now I go to slip covers. Monty Python Holy Grail. I heard this tape has the Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment logo at the beginning. And plus, I hear it's really funny, so I went ahead and got this tape. So label, this is the Columbia Trust Home Video Print. 47th week, 2000. I do plan to get. Another copy. It was printed in 2003. Yep. My, my friend, the fifth segregator, one. Cool. Um, the Towering Inferno, CBS Fox video tapes. By the way, these next three are CBS Fox video. Spoiler, but I will. School label, no print date. Revenge of the Pink Panther. I heard just like my African Queen tape. This has the 20th Century Fox video logo at the beginning. I heard from a friend of mine on Skype. Yeah. Return of the Pink 
Oh, it's just as Revenge of the Pink Panther. Oh, well, I think it might anyway. No print date. Oh, oh, Mr. Divinity, I think I learned it from you, actually. I was on your, what was it again? My, um, Return of the Pink, Return of the Pink Panther? This is Revenge of the Pink Panther. I think I still will have it anyway, though. So, not too much of a deal. Um, and the other one is the Blue Max, but this is a reprint. But, yep. Yep. If Bob Bane, I'll cut you off in the region. Because it's printed in the 29th week, 1907. Next. Yeah, guys, I'm making this video kind of quicker because... Um, if you guys are curious, it's because uh, my phone cut off the last time I did this, so I had to delete some things and I'm back. Um, the media slash Canon VHS of Death Wish 4. Spine top. It's back. Coverage by Image Entertainment. This is my first Canon tape. Hope to get more soon. Not only that, but it's Canon slash media. That's kind of rare. Stick a label and label. Oh, does this have a print date? Mmm, I don't think so. Next, I got Delta Force 2. This is just media. And this is also a Chuck Norris film. I'm not sure if this is Chuck Norris. Let me check on the back. Mmm, I don't think so. This is a Chuck Norris film. Yeah, this is a 1990 VHS from Media Entertainment. This is my fourth. Actually, this is my fourth. This is my fifth media tape. I guess I could kind of consider this media also. Well, and no end label. So, yeah, this is probably a reprint. Now, the next one is 2004, which is a transporter. Now, guys, before I say this, you're probably wondering why this is here. I accidentally showed it. Well, um, let me go ahead and tell you guys a short story when I was there. Um, I got this. Um, there, do you guys probably wonder how I got this? Well, I got it because, um, I, I found this 20 CG Fox Selections tape at ARC. Um, I did not get it, though, but, um, because I'm not sure if my mom would prove it or not. Plus, it's a romantic comedy. I don't like romantic comedies. So, um, I decided, um, now guys, as I know it's a little bit sneaky, but I, I just did it because I really wanted this badly. Um, I took it out of the tape, and I put it into this tape, um, so I could have this. See, guys, it looked pretty cool. This is probably mail right there. And, yeah, that's where it came from. It originally had it like that, and I took it off. So I could see inside. I'll go ahead and show you guys what's inside real quick. Points to your Fox selections, as you can see. And it came with that. I do plan to get the War of the Worlds as soon, along with the feelers. Dying Young, I believe that was the one that this came in. I think that was the one that just came in Brubaker, which I hope to get soon. I do have the magnetic video of it that's damaged. And that I'm thinking about maybe putting this in one of my 22 box selections tapes. I'll probably put this in one of them. Like probably like um, I'm not sure which one. You know, kind of cool, and that's what it looks like inside. You're invited to be a part of Hollywood and the Fox Video Movie Club. It says um, I'm not gonna read the entire thing though. It's kind of a waste of. Well, um, that and plus it just kind of wastes time. Anyways, um, here's Transporter, 2004 VHS, 2000, no, I don't think it's from 2004, actually, just a 2003 VHS, I think, it's filmed from 2002, just a little ink label, and it's also a white tape, like my High Crimes tape, hopefully get more, um, even more white tape soon, Hollywood Video Rental, just like High Crimes, also, print date's also blocked by Hollywood Video, and, um, oh, and guys, the, the tape's a little bit dirty, but I think the tape will still work fine, so, it's no big deal. But anyways, um, now guys, um, these next are recordables. These four recordable tapes. Now guys, I have news. I have made my very own VHS company. 
I've made my very own VHS company. It's called Tyler Entertainment Company. And guys, I have uploaded the openings and warnings on YouTube if you want to see them. Check them out. And, um, yeah, there's, and guys, there's lots of different logos that are coming out of the same thing soon. There's also going to be some more. You know why, guys? Because the TEC logo, um, there's lots of different variations of TEC. But anyways, sorry, I'm kind of wasting time here. But anyways, just guy to let you guys know on that, update you. Don't worry, guys. Um, I will, and I will try to get as many of these as possible so I can um, make some TEC tapes and record them into VHS. I'm using Windows Movie Maker to, um, you know, kind of like um, with my magnetic videotapes I'm making. Um, just kind of do something similar. But anyways, um, sorry about wasting time, but I got these four recordable tapes. Um, and guys, I will be ordering more recordable tapes online, and I will update you guys when I get them. And I will do an update, VHS update. And lastly, the these lovely seven Sony recordable tapes. Um, it's a great. It says twelve pack, but um, it really has seven. Looks like and it looks like somebody opened this a little bit, but I'm not worried about it. And hopefully I'm able to record more soon. So yeah, guys. Yep, and then after this video, guys, I'm planning to do a video of of um a video about T like TEC and like talking about how it's going to be made. It'll be called The Making of TEC, so check that uh, movie out. I mean, check that YouTube video out, um, and it's going to be up hopefully um, tomorrow or something. I might, make it to I might make it tomorrow, but anyways, hope you guys like this video. Yep, I hope you guys like the update, and that's what I got today. That's all I got, and I will see you guys in my next video.